Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at 10 very common phrasal verbs related to money that you need to know. And if you'd like to make Frank very happy, remember to hit that subscribe button. Let's start with a very simple one. This one is go up. Go up. This is an inseparable phrasal verb. In the context of money, it means to rise or increase. The cost of living is going up because of inflation. Petrol prices went up again last month. And here's a bonus phrasal verb. The opposite of go up is, of course, go down. Frank is happy because TV prices have gone down recently. If you would like to buy something big, like a TV or a car, you might need to save up. Save up is another inseparable phrasal verb. It means to gradually collect or accumulate money over time by spending less than you earn or receive. We usually use it in the following two ways. For example, if Frank wants to buy a big flat screen TV, we can say Frank is saving up to buy a TV or Frank is saving up for a TV. You also have the option of not putting anything after it if the reason is clear from the context or the sentence. For example, Frank would like to buy a TV, so he's saving up. You can also use it with an object, although this is less common. Then it's a separable phrasal verb. For example, Frank is saving up some money to buy a TV. Or if we separate it, Frank is saving some money up to buy a TV. Now, if you don't want to save up, or if you want to buy something very big, like a house, you might need to take out a loan. Yes, phrasal verb number three today is take out. Take out. This is a separable phrasal verb. Remember, if a phrasal verb is separable, there is always an object. In the context of money, we usually use take out with the nouns loan or mortgage. To take out a loan or a mortgage means to borrow a sum of money from a financial institution, usually a bank. Frank took out a loan to buy a TV. Why? I'll need to take out a mortgage if I want to buy a house. Take out can also mean to withdraw or remove money from an account or an ATM. I've taken out $3,000 from my savings account to get my car fixed. Yesterday, George took some cash out from an ATM. If you take out a loan, you will eventually have to pay it back. Yes, our fourth phrasal verb is pay back. Pay back. This is also a separable phrasal verb. To pay back means to return money that you borrowed. You can either pay somebody back or pay something back. I'll pay back John as soon as I can. Frank never paid me back that $50 that I lent him. Isn't that right? I'm sure Ethel will pay the money back. We have two years to pay back the loan to the bank. A very similar phrasal verb is pay off. Pay off. To pay off means to finish paying all the money that you owe. It is also separable. Sometimes this can be used interchangeably with pay back. 
This is the case if the object is loan. For example, you can say, we have two years to pay back the loan. Or, we have two years to pay off the loan. These sentences mean the same thing. However, we don't use pay back with the words mortgage or debt. We need to use pay off. They paid off the mortgage in 10 years. She needs to pay off her debts before taking out a mortgage. You can also use it with the thing that you borrowed the money for. For example, if you borrowed money to buy a car, you can say, I finally paid off my car. Often if you're saving up for something or paying off a debt, you might need to cut back. In the context of money, to cut back means to spend less. It is both a separable and an inseparable phrasal verb. I'm saving up for a holiday, so I'm trying to cut back. George has decided to cut back on his spending so he can invest more. Very smart. The government has cut back infrastructure spending. The company cut expenditure back to try to increase profits. Number seven is get by. Get by. To get by in this context means to have enough money to pay for the things that you need, but no more. It's similar to manage or survive. He can't afford many luxuries on his salary, but he gets by. If we want to put a noun after it, we use on. I don't know how Jess gets by on $200 a week. A similar phrasal verb is live on. Live on. This is inseparable. This means to rely on an amount of money to survive. You can't live on $20,000 a year in this city. Is your salary enough to live on? Number nine is chip in. Chip in. To chip in means to contribute money in a group situation so that the group can pay for something together. You can use it with or without an object. Let's all chip in to get Ethel a nice birthday present. Everybody chipped in $10. And the final one today is rip off. Rip off. This is a separable phrasal verb and it is informal. It means to make somebody pay too much money for something. Perhaps the thing is poor quality or it is just not worth the money that is being asked. It's similar to cheating somebody. I think the mechanic ripped me off because he could see that I knew nothing about cars. If you're a tourist in this city, people will undoubtedly try to rip you off. Frank always thinks that he's being ripped off. Now let's look at a little story using all of these phrasal verbs. After Frank finished paying off his TV, he decided that he absolutely had to have a ride on lawnmower. Despite living in an apartment. He didn't want to take out a loan again, as he didn't enjoy having to pay back money every month. He therefore decided that he would save up. He was cutting back so much that he didn't even chip in when we threw a surprise party for George. He also asked me for a pay rise, claiming that his current salary was barely enough to live on and that he wouldn't be able to get by unless he took on a second job. I told him to look for a second job. But when he realised that would mean working more than 10 hours a week, he decided against it. 
One day, he noticed that the prices of ride-on lawnmowers had gone up slightly. So he decided to buy a second-hand one that he saw online. When it was delivered, it became clear that it didn't work properly and that this time Frank had indeed been ripped off. Poor Frank. If you would like to practice using one or several of these phrasal verbs, please write one or several sentences in the comment section. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe as well as that big thumbs up button. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Petrol part. Infrastructure, infrastructure. The government has cut back infrastructure, infrastructure. In the context of money, to cut... <laughs> I think they're putting flat pack furniture together. Yesterday, yesterday, George took... In the context... <laughs>